Well, it's a very common pain many of us feel, especially as we get older. We're talking about back pain. Yeah, according to the CDC, 39% of American adults experience some sort of back pain in 2019. There are many causes, and one of those could be spinal issues. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke with a patient at Providence Health about how the hospital helped him fix years of pain that he started feeling in his childhood. From the age I was old enough to pick up a football, I was getting into flag football uh, there, and then that kind of graduated into tackle peewee football. Playing football growing up was a big part of 45-year-old Joe Locus's life. It's a sport he loved playing, but some injuries did create a long-lasting impact. guy that was much bigger than me uh, was coming around, and I went to block him, and I didn't have my feet under me, and my back right leg shot out with all my weight going up into him. And when I put everything on my back right leg, I immediately felt like a, oh, oh, that hurt. He says that injury was the first time he felt lower back pain. The pain stayed with him most of his life until it got to the point he couldn't bend down to tie his shoes or get a full night of rest. At the time, I had heard a uh, disc bulge, that phrase thrown around, but I'm, you know, 12 years old, 13 years old. I'm not thinking about my spine and the longevity of spinal health. In 2020, he met Dr. Rafe Sales with Providence Brain and Spine Institute. That's when it was discovered that the disc at the very bottom of his spine was bulging out, hitting nerves that would create pain in his back and leg. After Dr. Sales and Locust tried to fix the issue with non-invasive solutions, the only answer was surgery to remove some of the disc. She was cruising along and then uh, unfortunately had what we call a recurrent herniation, meaning more disc pushed out of that same uh, level, the L5-S1 level. Dr. Sales operated again on Locust's back in the summer of 2023, but he still walked away with the same back pain. So in December of 2023, he had to essentially put a new disc in Locust's lower back with an implant similar to this one. Dr. Sales used a technique that was less invasive that allowed Locust to recover quickly. Instead of putting the screws from outside to in, we kind of use an inside out. So you can imagine we don't have to expose all this tissue out here now. Since December 2023, Locus says the pain has been gone. He can bend over to tie his shoes and finally get a full night of sleep. Oh, it's unreal. I couldn't believe it. I fell asleep on my back and I woke up on my back. I hadn't moved. Joe's just done remarkably well after surgery. He's attacked it head on. He's working on everything the right way and continues to do well. Locus has this advice for the millions of other Americans who suffer through back pain. Being uh, diligent about your, your physical fitness as it relates to your core and stretching, because frankly, I'm about as uh, flexible as a frozen rubber band, and I always have been. It's just not my strong suit. So putting more onus on that, and if you feel like pain, don't wait, don't say it's gonna pass, because I did that, and you should at least go and get a consultation, if not with Dr. Sales, with someone. In Northwest Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.